Welcome back to Garland Vintage. Today I'm going to show you a haul from an estate sale in Derry, New Hampshire. Okay, the first thing that definitely stands out to me is this tin that I thought was weird. Salad educators, wonderful with cocktails or soup from Lowell and Cambridge, Cambridge, Mass, which is pretty close by. Um, yeah, I think later I looked up that a salad educator was like a topping, like, um, I don't know, like a nut or a cracker or something that would go on top of a salad. So yeah, this is in wonderful condition. I've never, I mean, it's in wonderful, like beat up condition, you know what I mean? I've never seen anything like this, so I picked it up. I don't know, I might sell it or I might keep it for something. Uh, the next thing was this Christmas plastic candle thing. Um, definitely very vintage Christmas. I don't know if it works. Um, let me plug it in and see if it does. Hang on one second. As I suspected, it doesn't really work. Probably needs a new bulb or whatever. Um, oh wait, oh. <laughs> It does work, I just had to screw it down. It's actually much more of like a pink color like you see in the window reflection. It's pretty neat. Next up is this little tulip cup. There's actually another one still in my garage, so it was a pear. Um, it might have been a pitcher that went with it, but I didn't grab it because I didn't know what the prices were and they wouldn't really tell me. They just said, put everything in a pile and we'll price it all out at the end. Um, Honestly, they gave me a really, really good discount, so I would have grabbed a lot more. But by the time they had priced it, it was getting late, and I didn't really feel like going back inside. Because um, I would have been there for like six more hours. Okay, then there's this ashtray that I thought was really neat. Uh, still has vintage cigarette ashes in here. Very authentic. I think I grabbed this one from the actual barn portion. Uh, of the estate, which you'll see in another video. Probably sell this, I don't have a use for an ashtray. Okay, dump out whatever that is. This is like a shaving cup, Burmar Shave. I thought this was really neat. Uh, let's see what it says. Burma Vita Company, made in USA, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah, I'm guessing it came with a lid, but I didn't see it. Um, Thought this was really cool. I'll probably sell it too, unless I can find some use for it. Knowing me, I'll find some random use for it and have an excuse not to sell it. But I thought this would be cool for like flea market or booth. Okay, let's see what's in here. This is all pretty much a surprise to me. This newspaper got pretty wrecked. Which is, dang, that's too bad. But I just thought it was a. Uh, Kind of cute. Raising chickens. The rewards are great. The effort's slight. New Hampshire Times, 35 cents. Looks like there's a section on the two farms of Robert Frost. One of the farms is around here in dairy. In praise of chickens. I actually don't know what year this is from, but there's like really old advertisements from, you know, from companies around here. Um, oh yeah, here we go. The two poets' farms are now open to the public. Yeah, the Frost Farm and Dairy is pretty cool. Um, I haven't actually been inside. It's been closed until recently, but I'll probably actually read this article. It's pretty neat. Dining in New Hampshire. Here's a bit about a poet in residence in, Ke in the Frost Farm in Franconia, which was the other farm that he owned and lived at. I'll read that too. New Hampshire events, some poems. This is really cool. I'm glad I grabbed this. Bummed it got all messed up. But yeah, the newspapers here aren't quite like this anymore. If anyone sees the date on here, let me know because I just don't see it. I mean, I see the date, I don't see the year. Oh wait, here it is, 1977. Let's see what else we got. We have this really old and very grimy, 
like transferware bowl. I don't really know why I put this in the box. I mean, it's in really bad shape, but I thought it just looked super, super old. I don't know what that means. It says runny, Renee, BF. Maybe I should look that up. I don't know what it is. Okay, this is a yellowware bowl. I've always wanted a yellowware bowl. I mean, I was ideally wanting like a big one, but I was afraid of what that price would be. This was priced at five, but I think ultimately it ended up being like a dollar or two. The bigger ones are like 20, 25 bucks. But yeah, I think like pretty authentic, not a reproduction. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, I bought this for like a booth. I don't know. It's like one of those games where you try to get the balls in the holes. One side is this cowboy looking weirdo and then there's a clown. Let's see what it says. Made in Hong Kong. And it says made in Hong Kong again. I don't know, I just thought this would be like a fun, colorful little thing to have in a booth. Okay. And then there's this wax frog. <laughs> he sees a candle. He got something stuck to him. I thought he was cute. I don't know. He's got googly eyes that kind of move, kind of don't. I don't know anything about him. Just thought he was kind of cool. I don't. I think maybe he was burnt for like a little bit. Needs to be cleaned up. Okay, and then I have this little picture that I saw right away when I walked in, but didn't grab till the end. Is Stangle. I guess it's like a creamer, but I thought it was really cool. It is glazed inside, even though it looks like redware. I think that's just, maybe it is redware, but it's like a clear glaze. It's a lot of dirt in there, like dead insects. I really need to clean all this stuff. Um... Yeah, I thought this was beautiful. There were no matching pieces or else I would have grabbed them too. I did grab a bunch of linens. There's a lot more that I'll show you. But this one was really pretty. It's like in kind of indigo dyed grape linen thing, grapes and leaves. I thought it was so nice. I just love these linens and I'm so glad I could grab a whole bunch. Okay, and then I got this cute Snoopy book, Happiness is a Warm Puppy. I just thought it was really cute. Probably also a good thing for a booth. Happiness is 18 different colors, that's cute. Plastic book service. Let's see how old this is. 1962. First printing, 1970. So it's probably from the 70s. Cool lettering and stuff. I forgot about this. This is really sweet. It's just like a crocheted little strawberry trivet or something. Yeah, I remember this was in the attic. So cute. Love it. I'm going to keep it for sure. Then I think this might just be a box I grabbed for no reason. Christmas cards box. I bought these Christmas 1975 and set them, sent them to all the people marked B in address book. That's cool. Maybe I'll use this in a booth, like as a to hold um, postcards or stationery or something. Okay old envelopes oh <laughs> I don't know what this was these are like decals or something okay here they are I don't know what people actually use them for because I don't do a lot of crafts or maybe they're just like sewing advertisements Sweet dreams and glad awakenings be thine. There's nothing on the back, but cute. Impulse buy again. And then I did find my first recipe tin. I don't have one. 
thought this was a perfect start. Ohio made in USA. I don't know, honestly, I might not keep it. I might sell this one. All right, let's see what was in there. My allergies are really acting up. Oh, there's these really old postcards. These were cool. Souvenir folder, Rutland, Vermont. I just sent a package to a friend. I wish I had sent one of these with them. Oh, but I guess it's just like pictures on both sides. Really cool. This is like what, like retro, whatever, stationary printers would try to rip off nowadays, but I think this is the real deal. Okay, next thing, yeah, I remember I got two packs of playing cards just for the booth for like a dollar. These are kind of cool. I need to count them and see if they're intact, but yeah, just standard old playing cards. And then these I thought would definitely appeal to someone. Yeah, these are really cool. Edible plants. Chamomile, arrowhead, maple, thistle, lichen, fireweed. Oh, these aren't, oh wait, they are playing cards, but they have like information about the plant on the back. That's really cool. Awesome, yeah, I'll probably put these in the booth. I don't like play cards myself, but Someone will appreciate these. And then I have this basket. I feel like there was more stuff. I could be wrong. This was in the person's library, Handicrafts of New England. I thought this was kind of a cool reference book. I don't know if I'll be using it as a reference or just kind of flip through it, but this is really neat ship models, wood workers, sculptors, yeah, needle book. And then, oh yeah, there was this other book about early American furniture. Um, assuming there's like stuff here about shaker furniture, which is probably what I'm most interested in. But we'll see. You can still find a lot of this stuff like on Facebook Marketplace, all these really old secretaries and bureaus and like tables like that. Okay, let me get this shelf out of the way. I just thought this was a really cute display shelf. You put like tiny precious things on. Wish I'd gotten more of this kind of thing. Um, Again, I didn't know what prices there would be till it was too late. Oh, this is really neat. I found this Williamsburg. Oh boy, not focusing. Um, but it's Williamsburg Restoration. I think it's like a reproduction piece. But definitely like hand engraved and then look, looks like the engraved portions were hand painted. Um, there's a really old antique store tag on it. It says Repro Williamsburg, six bucks, which is a good price if we found it in an antique store now. I think this is probably not adjusted for inflation, but yeah, ultimately this probably ended up being like a couple of bucks. It's really nice and heavy. Um, I think I'll keep this one for now. Okay, and then I got this um, framed, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's a print. Um, Angel Gabriel? I don't know. But really old. Yeah, I know it's cracked. Um, super old. It actually matches a... a um, Print I already have framed and up on the wall, so I'll show you guys that. Really similar, like, style. 
um, and frame as well. That I got at an antique store in California. This is in much worse shape. It's also smaller, I realized, but I think they would look really good together. I don't know which angel that is, but I love this. I love this too, even though it's all beat up. Okay, forgot about this. This is pretty cool. Um, Mother Mary and Jesus. It actually looks like it's like Slavic. Those are Slavic letters or Greek. Probably like an Orthodox um, print. And then this frame, I think is super old as well. No idea, but very, really cool. I love it. It's really grimy. <laughs> I have to clean it. Okay, time for my linens. Oh, I'm most excited about these. I'm going to go around so I can kind of splay them out. I just started grabbing these. This one matches the um, indigo one I had. And then I went absolutely crazy on doilies because it's actually hard to find doilies at like a regular thrift store. And in antique stores, they are marked up. So that is extremely cute. Um, this is super nice. It reminds me of like Blue Onion. This is called All Linen Made in Ireland. Amazing, like really good shape, pretty much spotless. I think probably I'll try to clean them and I don't know how yet, but any suggestions, let me know for like hand washing these. Um, cute little, I guess crocheted edge little thing, little number, hanky. And then I have this. This is like a kitchen napkin, kind of feels like, but amazing. Look at that. I'm just like completely obsessed with this kind of thing. Perfect. And tiny doilies. Can't get enough of tiny doilies. They're so nice for displaying things. This one's really delicate. Okay, and then this beautiful handkerchief. Floral motif. Amazing. Then just finishing up, we have another one of these. I didn't realize I got two. That's cool, maybe I'll sell one. This one's like a little rattier. And then this amazing bandana. This is just super cool. This thing. So cool. Super soft. Doesn't say the maker or anything though. Okay, random stuff. I think this is my first piece of flow blue. I grabbed it because I don't have any flow blue yet. It's really, really old. Um there was no teacup to go along with it. And it's like uh, interesting, it's kind of the same uh, clover looking motif as on. Wait, what was it on? Something else that I showed you. I think about what it was. Oh, on the um, yellowware bowl. So that's weird. I love this. I'll keep it as like a trinket dish on my vanity or something. So I just grabbed this entire box. Um, it's like old Christmas cards, letters, ledgers that this um, like couple kept over the years. Type letters. Kind of feels weird. Like this is all their personal stuff. But yeah, the estate sale just had it like up, like old clippings. I haven't gone through all this, but someday I will. I have a hard time reading like old time cursive handwriting, <laughs> but I'd like to decipher it if I could. Uh, I think I got it because there were some little nuggets in here, like this old photo. 
Um, what else? This like old time, literally real old time bread wrapper. <laughs> old postcards. I they would keep this, but I don't know. It's weird. It's like there's a whole story of someone's life in here. And now it just belongs to me, a random person. We bought it probably for like a dollar. They lived in Raymond, New Hampshire. And they used to buy stuff, and this is what receipts looked like. Uh, I think there was a couple things in here I wanted to show you. This They had like so many old um, tins and I thought this one was really cute there's something in here let me open it okay I sh maybe shouldn't have opened it but I did I don't think it had ever been opened and it's actual allspice still in here yeah it smells too that is really funny I was hoping it was like a thousand dollar bill but it wasn't Okay, last thing in here I remember. I thought this was cool. Um, I've been seeing people selling these. I don't know if people are like going back to the days of yore when they had actual directories. But this was really cool. I love this. Totally unused. Let me figure out what year it's for. Okay, there's something else in here that I need to root around for. This is, I don't know what that is. I thought it was a stamp. Oh yeah, another pack of cards. Oh, these are cool. It's like an Art Deco Deer deck. Very cool. And then I loved this die. I think this was just hanging around the box. There's a really old napkin that's used. I wonder why they kept that. Another die. All right, so here's a full view of pretty much everything that I got. And I realized I forgot to tell you the final cost. They ended up giving everything to me for $40, which was honestly like half of what I was maybe even willing to pay. Um, that's why I really wish I had just gotten more knowing how deep of a discount they were giving. But hopefully the house will open up again for another estate sale. They had a ton of stuff still in there. And I know they're prepping to sell the house, so I'm sure they want it all gone. Um, yeah, if you have any suggestions for more videos or um, if you guys have any tips for how to hand wash these beautiful linens, please let me know. I'm going to finish up the video because my allergies are acting up <laughs> again from all the dust. I have to figure out how to clean all this stuff. Um, but I will see you next time. See you later. Bye.